Warriors! It's all fun and game until you get pulled into the ring, Warriors. Let me take my jacket off for this one. All right, listen up. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health and mindset coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind, will eventually become your words and become your reality. I'm the person who teaches you the game so you can't be played. As you look this way at a narrative, there's a, or a pandemic, there's a whole other narrative going on this way. Now, why am I qualified to speak about this? I spent 12 years of my life deep in banking, became a vice president at a bank, and I went through a spiritual awakening. I realized that the banking system is really, really backwards. And I started doing everything backwards, and my life started to absolutely skyrocket. So I don't listen to what they say. I watch what they do. And you're about to see what I mean by it. Now, what I mean by don't get in the ring unless you want to get punched in the face is you don't know. What happens, like Mike Tyson says, until you get punched in the face, your game plan will work until you get punched in the face, and here's what's about to happen, Warriors. This is all fun, right? This is cool. GameStop is going crazy right now, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Warriors. This is going to usher in regulation like you've never seen before. Let me repeat that. This is going to usher in regulation like you've never seen before, because you know why? Because you just took the big people's money. You just messed with their money and they're backed against the wall right now and you got Davos going on right now right now as we speak I'm gonna show you in real time I got so much content the next couple days I'm gonna show you in real time what I do nine hours a day I study methodically World Economic Forum the IMF what the SEC is doing I understand banking at a very very deep level warriors and I'll tell you what a lot of you are gonna get shaken out of the marketplace they are going to shake you out of the marketplace. So if you do not have resilience, if you don't have roots like an oak tree right now, and you're in the crypto space, you are going to get shaken out. You're going to be like a leap in the wind because this right here, Warriors, what just happened with GameStop and AMC is not a game to them. It's fun to us to joke about and they got punked or whatever and a lot of people lost a lot of money. But guess what? When we want our money, when we need our money, we wait forever. How long did it take you to get your $600 stimulus check? How long did it take you to get some of you? I got mine on some weird-ass card. I don't even want the damn money from a man. You know what I did with mine. You know what I did with mine. So let's think about that. But when they get punched, oh, they come swinging. And that's what I want. It's all fun and games, right? But Warriors, this is going to shake a lot of you out of the marketplace because they're coming fast and furious. So if you live under a rock, I'm going to share with you what happened just recently, okay? GameStop Sludgefest spreads probe and calls uh, for probe to build, okay? So uh, this is by Rooker. It's a battle between small-time traders and hedge funds that has shaken U.S. and Europe stock markets moves into Asia on Thursday. With surges, several Australian companies squeeze another batch of financial institutions that have bet on stocks falling. And Europe, where the trend was already showing up in the jump of the value and finished technologies companies, Nokia, Shares in the video game chain at the center of the U.S. action, GameStop dips 16%. So what's happening? Let me explain this because you're seeing this in the, in the media, right? Or maybe you're not seeing this. But what happened was is a group of Reddit users were able to manipulate the stock market. They are so powerful. We, the people, are so powerful now with this social media that they were able to move GameStop stock up as these investors – as these hedge funds bet on it going down. So you can actually make a lot of money betting on a company losing. They were betting on the company losing and Reddit was able to, the people were able to manipulate the stock market and these guys lost billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars. That's pretty remarkable that we have that type of power. Here's the problem, lawyers. Here's the problem. The SEC lawsuit for XRP is for something that happened seven years ago, seven years ago, and you got crushed in the marketplace. I'm an XRP holder, a big-time XRP holder. It's one of my biggest holdings in my portfolio. We got hurt, right? A lot of you jumped out of the marketplace and got shook out of millions and millions of dollars in your future. People lost hundreds of thousands of dollars, some people millions of dollars. But what recourse do you have? Nothing. But when you play games with the government or the SEC, oh, they're coming swinging, Warriors. So Reddit fueled rallies like GameStop, DeFi, easy crackdown by the SEC. So why is it so easy for them to crack down on us, but it's so hard for us to crack down on 
them, right? So Bloomberg, U.S. regulators are likely to scrutinize the quadrupling of GameStop's corporation shares over the past two weeks, breaking a buying spree turbocharged by bullish touts about the video game retailer on Reddit and other online forums. Yet, the Securities and Exchange Commission fighting online commentary that hype stocks are uphill struggle, mainly because it's hard to prove such posts are part of a licit scheme to manipulate the market. Rather, successful enforcement case typically hinge on the SEC showing that investors knowingly spread false information to dupe other traders into buying or selling stocks. In enforcement nightmare, the SEC said James Cox, a professor at Duke University School of Law, who forces a uh, focus is on SEC regulation. The question is, where does the manipulation start and where does the trading on our own hunches and publicized your own hunch start? So what they're saying is like, shit, like you got to you got to make informed decisions, right? It's supposed to be a fair marketplace. They bet on the market going down and a whole group of people, you know, whatever you want to call it, manipulated the market for it to go up and they lost a bunch of money, but they're all what because they lost billions of dollars and a bunch of people on Reddit made a ton of money. Now the SEC lawsuit is going to come down. Now I am smiling about this. Now as – think about this, Warriors. All this stuff is going on. There's millions and millions of people watching the Watt videos, probably a billion now. I haven't even seen it. I haven't looked lately because I say that all the time. The last time it was a long time I looked at it. I want you to rationalize something right now, okay? So I'm Coach JB, the long-haired hippie guy with a cutoff shirt. Used to be a banker. Got a tinfoil hat on. And this is what I watched this morning when I woke up. I've been watching this since I woke up. This is the type of stuff I watch. I want you to recognize something. This is the World Economic Forum. There is 130 people watching out of 7 billion people in the world. And this tinfoil hat guy was one of them. I was waiting for this to come. And this is resetting digital currencies. And within this, they're talking about the private and public sector, CBDC, central bank digital currencies, the private sector coming in to help CBDCs connect with central banks and commercial banks. They're literally giving you the game. But I'll tell you what, Warriors, if you are not a strong, strong, strong individual, you're going to get crushed in this marketplace because it's not designed for you to win. When they see that we're starting to win, that's why I brought this up. When they see that we're starting to win, they are going to make moves to make you not win. So if you don't know the game, you're going to get crushed. If you come into the crypto game just to get rich, just to get rich quick, you are going to get crushed. You have to do what the billionaires do, not what they say. You have to understand that Warren Buffett is closing out of bank stocks. He went up in Bank of America, up 10%, which is connected to Ripple. And then he went into gold mining. He went into stores of value, into assets, buying physical gold mines. Think about that. Why would he close out of bank stocks? airline stocks, go up 10% in Bank of America, make moves into gold mining companies when he called gold mine bugs. Even an 80-year-old man and his business partner can start to make different decisions. Warriors, the game is happening rapidly and efficiently. And this is all fun and games to have fun and, and make fun of the hedge fund people who lost a bunch of money. But I'll tell you what, Warriors, when they get punched in the face, they get a bunch of people. It's, it's, it's like the, the, the thing, listen, like, for example, that one, that one guy that picks on a bunch of people, right, and all of a sudden he gets punched in the face and he goes and gets his buddies. That's what's happening right now. They just went and strapped up all their buddies in the SEC and they said, hey, we just lost a bunch of money. What can we do? And they're going to come after us. They're going to shut down what we do, how we make money warriors. But you got to hold strong. You have to hold strong, Warriors. I know this is a jump. I just came on really quickly to do this because I'm seeing all the, the, the excitement around this. But you have to look at the other side of the coin, Warriors. I always look opposite. Yeah, it's great. You know, it's, it's cool to see that the people are rising. But I'll tell you what, Warriors. They are a powerful group of people. And they're going to come down with a hammer when you mess with their money. But you have to know this is going to create massive volatility in the, volatility in the crypto space. This is a signal for the stock market crash. How can the stock market be so freaking high when GDP is worse than the Great Depression, unemployment as, is at unprecedented times right now, a bunch of you are going to be getting evicted from your apartments, people making $30,000 and below are going to get wiped out of the marketplace, small and small organizations are going to get crushed, and within the next year, you're going to see the biggest stock, stock market crash in history. In my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor, it's not financial advice. This type of stuff is signaling it, Warriors. This type of stuff is going to get people to FOMO out of that into the crypto space because wait till you see when I do a YouTube video on this video today to go deep into what they're saying. I will connect the dots for you. I know banking at a very deep level, Warriors. 
I'm fired up. There's going to be a lot of content. I got all this content up here ready to come to you guys around uh, the green deal. So I'm the guy who brings it to a different perspective. I'm not going to talk about technical analysis. I have a team that does that in my Warrior Academy. Um, I, don't, I don't do technical analysis. I do real world solve. I understand the system and then I apply my speculation based on my understanding of the system. And every single YouTuber, all of us are speculating. Nobody knows who the Wizard of Oz is behind the curtain. But if you follow the yellow brick road and you look at the clues along the way, you can start to understand before you get to the curtain, before you pull it back, who may be pulling the strings and make informed decisions. Don't make decisions because your buddy at the barbershop said that XRP is the best or Bitcoin's failing. Do it because you've made sound fundamental decisions in the marketplace, okay? So look at this is live. 138 people watching, 7 billion people resetting digital currencies. Don't worry, Warriors. I will do a video on this today and break it down for you. Warriors, rise, let's go. Oh, click down the description below. You can join our Warrior Academy. Uh, I show my portfolio. Like today, we have our crypto call at 10 o'clock. I go over my portfolio. I'm not a financial advisor, not financial advice. You have a 120-day challenge. You work out with us live daily. We do your nutrition, subconscious mind programming around money. It's a comprehensive program to bring you back to God's consciousness. Warriors, rise.